Hi everyone, George Farmer here, content creator for Tropica Aquarium Plants. Welcome to this video where we'll show you what can go wrong sometimes in your planted tank, what we can do to fix it, and what we can do to hopefully prevent it from happening again. This is a Fluval Flex 57 litre that's now been running for 60 days. You can see the series of videos from this tank, including the step-by-step -step tutorial and maintenance videos by clicking the links in the description and pinned comment. If you enjoy our content, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with notifications enabled. Also leave a comment to let us know what other specific videos you'd like to see on the Tropica YouTube channel. As you can see, the tank is far from looking its best. There is a large build-up of brown algae on the glass and more worrying is the very poorly looking Helanthium quadricostatus. It's important to identify why this has happened before we can figure out what we can do about it. As with any issue in an aquarium, identifying the cause is essential to prevent the problems from reoccurring. It is very common for many hobbyists just to treat the symptom, which is usually only a short-term solution. Addressing the cause and fixing that is the ultimate long-term solution. In our case, the dying helanthium plant here is very interesting because most of the other plants seem okay. One theory is that the helanthium quadricostatus requires more nutrients than the other plants. It often shows pale growth before any other species, and therefore it makes sense that out of all the plants, it would be the first to struggle. It was definitely the fastest growing species in here, prolifically sending out runners that were starting to smother all the other plants. Although there are nutrients in the Tropica Aquarium soil, we did not add extra nutrition capsules to provide more food for the plant roots. We were also adding a small daily quantity of premium nutrition, but have to confess may have skipped a few days due to distractions and other commitments. Finally, one big factor in the downfall of this plant was that the aquarium lights were left on for at least 24 hours straight due to the plug-in timer being accidentally overridden. This would have placed more nutrient demands on the plant and also triggered the large amount of brown algae we see. Brown algae is often associated with either new setups called diatoms or excess duration of low intensity light, which is what we have here. Although it may look like a bit of a disaster right now, we can use this as an opportunity to learn and improve the overall look of the aquarium. Due to the fast growing and nutrient demanding nature of the helanthium, it makes sense to replace it with another plant that's slower growing with less demands. Thankfully, we have access to some mature plants from a larger aquascape, and a great candidate is Cryptocarini willisii. This easy category and slow growing crypt makes a perfect mid-ground plant for this aquarium and will be much less maintenance and will hopefully thrive in the longer term. The first step in replacing the helanthium is to remove it all. We can simply pull out all of the plants carefully then discard of responsibly. We then delicately uproot the Cryptocorony willisii from the larger aquascape by pulling carefully from near the roots. The roots are then trimmed back to make planting much easier in the Flex Aquarium with aquascaping tweezers. Tropica nutrition capsules are then added around the roots to help ensure they remain well fed at all times. Now it is a case of performing the regular maintenance tasks such as cleaning the glass, cleaning the filter in old aquarium water and finally performing a large water change. Check out our video dedicated to maintaining this aquarium via the link in the description and pinned comment. Now the aquarium is looking much better and with better care and attention we should hopefully avoid future issues with plant growth and algae. So we hope you've enjoyed this video on how we have dealt with some issues in this aquarium and hopefully it provides some reassurance that problems happen to us all no matter our experience levels. We look forward to updating you again on the progress on this aquascape in a few weeks so make sure you're subscribed with notifications enabled so you don't miss out on our regular uploads. Leave us a comment to suggest ideas for future videos. Take care. Bye-bye.